there is a special spirit when we all have come together, both to have fun and to learn and to come into Christ. It began with a world-class concert with One Republic and guest stars on stage like Jordan Sparks and Jordan Smith. A week later, it was off to the races as some of these young single adults took off on a 5K foot race. Please spray me. You're almost there. Starting out and finishing at the Saratoga Springs Temple. And the night before that, Best crowd I've ever seen. a dance with a Grammy nominated DJ and a show that just brought down the house. And it was crazy. You can feel the air shaking around you. Full energy. I can play like primary songs for them and they go nuts. We're going to get back to that in just a minute. But in the meantime, take a look at this. The capstone for this year's Utah area YSA conference at the convention center in Salt Lake City and other venues nearby took it to three weekends in a row. That's a lot of people to keep bumping into. You meet people, then see them again and again. You know, it reinforces like, hey, you know, we're continuing to make these bonds happen. And along with it, a roster of activities too long to list for nearly 20,000 attendees, from keynote speakers, breakout sessions and fellowship, to YSA volunteers preparing a million humanitarian meals, and never far from the live entertainment. So literally all day long, you can just be switching between emotional, fun, people, emotional, fun, people, and there's even hangout rooms. So that's what I'm excited about, is to have an immersive experience all day. <laughs> Clearly, these young adults have places to go, people to see, and friends to make. But they do slow down to meet and hear special messages of keynote speakers like Sharon Eubank, Elder Ahmed Corbett, and Brother Brad Wilcox of the Young Men's General Presidency, and Relief Society General President Camille Johnson. After all, the theme of this YSA conference is Together in Christ, and that's just what they're hoping to find. I hope that they realize they belong. The theme of the conference is Together in Christ, and that's the idea. No one feels alone, but we all belong, and that's possible because of our Savior. This is groundbreaking. This is historic. This is the largest gathering of young adults in the church in history. And I didn't think I was going to make it to here, but I'm really glad that I did. You meet new people, and it's just like you see the similarities you have. And that even goes for the performers who came to sing at the Delta Center with One Republic the first weekend. We had Jordan Smith, he sang us. Love one another as Jesus loves you. We all stood up and like sang it together. And it was just incredible because we had the 20,000 plus of us in there. We already know it by heart. It's just so powerful. It's never been so fun to me before. We're all rocking back and forth. It's such a powerful experience when faithful young adults gather together in the name of Jesus Christ. We're here and we're just filled with a place that's filled with light. What we love about young single adults is they love social media and they love going with their friends. I was amazed at like the sheer number of people. It was really cool because like everyone is doing everything. And did we mention the hangout room? You can play pickleball, fall down on a slide, try your hand at air hockey, sign your name on a VW bus. You can even play the game that where you like stand under the pipe thing and you jump and you hit the ball and you get somebody out. Yeah, they had that game too. <laughs> and YSA organizers, they don't let you come in empty handed either. I see these bags everywhere. I don't even know what's in them. Some snacks with Oreos. We got some bracelets, some stickers. Oh, and a keychain and the bag. <laughs> Of course I'll be coming back. It's such a good way to like go into the new school year. Just have this moment to be together and just remember what truly matters most and to make those connections to help you stay on that path. But toward that end of the conference, some were breathless, but still spiritually hungry for more. And with that, the young adults headed to the campus of BYU and the Marriott Center on Sunday to hear Elder D. Todd Christofferson of the Twelve and his special devotional remarks at the close of the young adult conference. I bless you in your path forward toward greater personal righteousness. I bear witness of Jesus Christ as the Messiah and Redeemer. With Him, you have nothing to fear. God bless you with a witness of Him. I give you mine. <laughs>